Hello crafty family and welcome back to Glittered and Glued. So I know it's been quite some time since um, y'all have seen or heard from me and that is simply because I have not been crafting. Um, I think the last like project I really worked on um, was a, uh, a rack I think in January actually that um i did for sharing more and uh that's really the last time i've been crafting i've kind of been picking it a, a few things and i've kind of been half-heartedly working on something that i was supposed to have done for mother's day and didn't get it done simply because i just didn't get out and get the supplies that i needed to finish it um you know when i start a project sometimes they evolve and i didn't have this certain thing i needed for the project so I haven't I just, I just haven't completed it and so guess what it's gonna be for her birthday in September <laughs> hopefully <laughs> but anyhow I saw that Erica with uh, Scrap Diva 29 is hosting a, uh, a challenge and I, I love challenges I love to participate that participate in them because it kind of gets me into a crafting mood like I want to like okay there's a challenge let's let's you know get, sit down at my craft table and do some crafting um, and so that's what I've done. I've created a little project to uh, send to Erica. And of course, you know me, last minute, this is, I think this is due this Saturday, I think it is. I'm not really sure. Um, I know it's the end of, end of the end of, end of May. So um, I'm probably going to get this to her barely just in time. I will send it priority, so it, it should get to her no problem. Um, unless, you know the mail is held up like it, it, it has been like it's been running a little slow so hopefully this gets to her on time it will go out um tomorrow which is tuesday i'm not sure if this video will actually go up today or tomorrow it just depends on when to get it edited but um, I wanted to share with you what I made just real quick and just to say thanks again to all of those who have um, been subscribed to my channel and say stayed subscribed while I was kind of MIA there for a while and I'm going to try to um, <clears throat> be a little more regular with getting some videos up. It, it's just it's really been difficult in, in the last uh, last several months just to do anything and uh, you know work and busy and busy 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 and so we'll see I'm, I'm hoping to because I, I do love crafting and um, you know it is kind of my release and I haven't been able to craft and it's you know it's really kind of sad so, um, let me show you what I made so uh, her requirements were a 3d project and then um, three sets of two each of handmade embellishments so uh, that's what I did so let me show you what I made it I thought you know what is more perfect to celebrate I think this is our um, 26,000 subscribers I believe if that's wrong I'll I'll, I'll put it right here um, but I think 26,000 subscribers for her and that's awesome and Erica congratulations but what 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 better way to say congratulations to someone than to make them a cake and so that's what I did that is my 3d project and I used the she's magic uh, by dear Lizzie paper collection let's see let me pop that out real quick yeah, making sure I got that right yeah this is such a pretty collection I really love it I love the the colors they're they're bright but not too bright at the same time but um, I'm, I'm in love with these hearts I'm just absolutely obsessed over these hearts and so um, I made the little tier two tiered cake I was gonna go three tiers and it just didn't it just didn't look proportionally right I would have had to go with a bigger bottom um, to start with but I took some stickles because I love stickles and and glitter of course and I stickled a couple little hearts just to give it an added little touch I wanted the box to be something that if she wanted to embellish it further and use it somewhere she could or if she just wanted to simply sit it you know on her shelf and display it and um, I put a, put a cute little bow there with a little pink um, uh, heart there and some eyelash trim of course because I love eyelash trim that's probably one of my favorite craft supplies and then I made a little um tool no is that not tool I think that's organza there that's organza there little um rosette for lack of a better word and then I trimmed out the um icing part in a little pom-pom trim and so um the the cake actually holds a surprise and that they're both tears are a box and so 
let's take off the first and then there's the first um, box there and you'll see I just dropped in a couple of little of the cute um, I don't know what the material oops I know there's another one in there I don't I can't remember the name of the material <laughs> I'll put it in the um, I'll, I'll flash it across the screen but it's this um, very flexible uh, material and it's kind of a holographic type um, material and it's so cute and I made a couple of little bows and stuffed a little some little crinkle paper in there and I put two in there because that these would the only ones that would fit in the little box I thought about doing rosettes but I'd already done rosettes for um, the actual embellishment part of her challenge and then at the bottom I've got some bigger bows so we got a couple of the bigger one of the um, little I, again can't remember the name of it and then I did a couple of glitter ones because who doesn't love glitter bows and I just I left these plain except for these uh, but you can still further embellish them I just just so she could have something she could pop some little embellishments on it as she saw fit and I made a couple of different sizes there and so sorry thought my phone was off there but some glitter and some silver and some white and again I just dropped some um, crinkle paper in the bottom so they'd have something nice to set in and these just about don't fit in here but they do barely and then it goes right back in the little hat and make a great little storage container or like I said just sit on your shelf and just look cute because who doesn't love something that lo looks just adorable so I also I went ahead and made a mini banner as well I've got this right here in this little bag now I am this is the first time I think I've ever made a, a banner of any size of any sort and I'm not the greatest at the whole banner thing but um, I did give it a little effort there and this is what I came up with again using the, the same paper collection I use the same paper for all of of my items here and I made this little banner with um, that shaped die instead of doing a traditional because I like to do something that's a little outside of the box and uh, I use some of the chipboard stickers and put together the two words love life so um, we should all be loving life and uh, having an appreciation for it and I had a couple of the little um, chipboard sticker hearts to it I did use a grommet there but ended up you know covering it up so it really wasn't necessary and then of course some eyelash trim so very these are very clean and simple um, projects I didn't go overboard with them because again if she wanted to further embellishment you know further embellish them herself she could do that and use them but um, I will put the name on the back I think that was one of what she asked us to do was put our name on the back of the banner so I did make one that was my first one not the best one but I hope she likes it nonetheless so let's go on to um, the embellishments and what I made. Okay, so I've got some rosettes. There we go. And I'm sorry about the, the shine. Uh, the um, ephemera pieces, some of the ephemera pieces have, um, if you haven't seen the collection, it they have this kind of reflectiveness to some of the pieces. And then some of them are just regular, you know, ephemera pieces but I made a mini little shaker out of the little radio that says hello I don't know if you can see that little hello peeking out right there and then added a little ticket to it and some of some silver thread on both ends and then of course it's just on a uh, little rosette made with the same little heart paper I love that paper I'm, I'm going to have to get some more single sheets of the 12 by 12 because I love the hearts I mean I could just I could just do hearts for a project for a year I mean I just love them that much and then um, did the, did this little rosette here and I used um, I think I used the I'm trying to think which die I used on these um, I can't remember right off the top of my head but again uh, I added a little enamel dot there I think the enamel came from the actual Dear Lizzie collection and then a little puffy sticker and some more of the uh, silver thread I just love that so again clean and simple but adorable not too thick so easily you could put it use them on a bag topper or whatever you you know choose to use it on or whatever she chooses to use on and um, here I made some little page flags and I this is where I use the 
tassel um, grommet and a charm and that's what I made here so I'll take this out of the package you can little, see a little bit better now oops this one's a little heavy <laughs> so this one this one might be actually kind of tricky to use I kind of went a little overboard with this one but I did hand make this tassel I added um, an oh snap um, charm to it because I used a little camera and I thought that was cute you know you snap the camera and then of course smile uh, because you gotta smile for the camera and a little birdie sticking out there and he's just as cute as he can be and I thought that looked so cute and so spring and summery and adorable but yeah you could pop that straight on to a you know to a um oops well if I can get this out of the way you could make that as a bag topper and that would be a nice nice little bag topper and I used to just use some beads from Hobby Lobby and I thought that turned out cute. And this one I went uh, much lighter on, of course. Um, I used a charm, and I can't remember. I think that I think I got the charm from Hobby Lobby, and I used a pre-made little teeny tiny tassel there. Uh, I just added that to the charm, and this this comes right off the shoe, you know, little lobster um, clasps, and so she could take that right off and use it somewhere else if she wants to. And then um, I used another chipboard sticker here, a little bling, little silver holographic type heart there. And I just, I love these little hearts. I want a whole, I, I want like an entire sticker sheet of the chipboard holographic hearts. I love those. They're so cute. But that's two page flags. And then I made a couple of back toppers. Now. Here's the first one. Well, actually, I could just take it on off right there. And uh, you can see I used a little doily here, some of the paper ephemera. Again, this has got that kind of uh, glossy, glittery finish to it. And this is just one of the regular paper ephemeras. And for the little noms, I added some little, um, little flat back jewels there. And for the center, I used a little yellow jewel right there. Just love those. Some fabric, some um, eyelash trim. Instead of using white, I used my um, kind of a minty turquoisey color because it went really well with this. So I pulled that one out of my stash. But that's the first one. And then here's the second one. And I'll go ahead and take that off. And I like to paper clip them down so they don't slide around but here's the first the next one and then here I have a, a handmade um, organza with the glittered um, the glittered organza uh, pretty sure it came from Hobby Lobby and I use a little eyelash trim so this is kind of like a little bow here I made a little, little layered bow there and then I used one of the chipboard stickers that says hi again very clean and simple and, but yet still really very, very cute and again can be further embellished if need to. So that is my project. I am going to be sending to Erica. It's going to go out in the mail on Tuesday and hopefully get to her on time. And so I really enjoyed making this. So a big thank you to Erica for hosting this. You kind of, now I'm kind of like going through all my stuff again. I'm like, oh, I forgot I had that paper collection. Now I need to make something for it. So I'm feeling a little more inspired than I have been in the last several several months and so I appreciate that Erica and thank you for the opportunity to join your challenge and good luck and congratulations on your uh, subscriber count so thanks guys for watching I really do appreciate it stick with me I will get you some more content out there um, if, if you want me to go over how I made this I can do that in a video just just let me know it was it was honestly very very simple um, I, I really handmade it for the most part, but I did use a die for the circles because my hand, um, my fussy cutting is terrible. So, but you could use, you know, if you have a digital, if you have a machine that cuts, but I don't. So I did it. I just did it the best way I could. So thanks guys for watching and have a wonderful day.